In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slow. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Mechs. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Captain Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. There you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar, and we'll get started. Son, Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. We Good. Fahad? Yeah, bringing up the systems now. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. 
Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly, and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Oi, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Come on, Demerson. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Okay, take note of your ammo levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. 
All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Acquired. Makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head-to-head -head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you.
Back to the base. We'll buy Fahad a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course, we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. Salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Now, something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is gonna need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? Commander Mason, I repeat, a massive invasion force is attacking the planet. Acknowledge. I have a visual. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. Son, this is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged. Look out! Incoming airstrike! Mason, what's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. Commander, an enemy dropship is approaching your position. I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. Ugh. Damn it. Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise.
orders need you. I'm leaving you in command. You're going to do great things. I just know it. Commander, sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Commander, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality. But I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna, are as close as I have now. Besides, I'm gonna need you. Yes, I suspect you will. About our Citrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system. Which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning, it's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl, won't let you down and treat her right. I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill, access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Okay?
Hey, Commander. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system, but it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. That javelin you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander, but what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. I'm sure you wish the Centurion was repaired and ready to go. For this particular mission, though, the javelin is the mech best suited for the job. And hey, it has jump jets. They could come in handy. Good try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have a Centurion. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. The power station being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander, but you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. 
Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a radio patrol. Copy. blocking the path down to the generator. Use your jump jets to get over it.
Target acquired. Target destroyed. Good work, Commander. That's the last of their power generators. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Did you find the acquisition? Just walk up to it in order to pick it up.
Hey, boss, mate. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stalls in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this ship needs a lot of loving, eh? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Now if there's nothing else, gonna get back at it, all right? Lot of work to do. Story of my life. Good work with those raiders, Commander. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're gonna have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Things go well, they've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Spears sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Roger that. I'll see you on the other side. in the area will restrict visibility.
little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers. So keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Copy that. I think the Raiders have set up some sort of jamming device nearby. I'll see if I can locate it. Unfortunately, it appears the Raiders aren't done causing trouble just yet. They're headed for the company's main processing facility on the other side of the mountain. You need to get there and thwart that attack, Commander. Understood. the Raiders set up is at the top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out.
Jamming device eliminated. Your sensors should have cleared up. Yeah, much better. Your onboard radar should also be operational now. You'll be able to detect enemies at a significant distance. Just in time, too. That mining facility is getting hit hard, Commander. those radar units. Roger that. You made it! We need your help. The Raiders are trying to destroy our facility. It's all we have.
Commander. It turns out the bastards who attacked us and who have set up the blockade are a mercenary outfit by the name of Black Inferno. Unfortunately, that's about all we know at the moment. Spears and I will try to dig up more information if we can. The time will come when we can extract some proper vengeance. But right now, we have more pressing concerns. Infernal forces are closing in on our location. That means we only have a small window in which to fulfill our obligations to the mining company and haul ass out of here. The company wants us to take down the raiders for good by destroying their base of operations. Once that's done, they'll arrange passage for us aboard the inbound jump ship. I've detailed the mission briefing and it's waiting for your sign off. You're free to launch whenever you're ready, Commander. Roger that. down on murderers and thieves, Commander. Don't show them any mercy. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. That's it. Exactly. I've got enemy contacts up ahead, Commander. They must have detected us on the way in.
eliminate all enemies and raise it to the ground, Commander. Copy that.
Hey there, Gov. I hear we finally got a name for these bastards you've been chasing us down. Black Bloody Inferno, eh? Well, that's a load of bollocks, innit? You know what a Black Inferno is? It's bloody smoke, mate. All right, then. Nice chat. Gonna get back to work now. Hi, Commander. Thanks to your efforts, the mining company have kept their word and booked us transport on a jump ship. Spears has also obtained a new mercenary ID number. So, all we need to do now is choose a new name for our Merc outfits, and we're good to go. I'll leave that up to you. Once you've registered the new name, come back and see me. Will do. Okay, Commander. Everything is set for our departure. The transport contract with the mining company is a false flag Spears and I set up with their cooperation. The mining company has legally hired us to transport cargo for them. But in reality, there is no cargo. Just a destination and some very convincing paperwork. So, where are we headed? We've been asked by Spears to help him out of a jam. I think we owe him. I agree. What's he need us to do? Spears works for Interstellar Expeditions, one of the largest archaeological collectives in the Inner Sphere. They do archaeological digs and conduct research into abandoned Star League-era facilities in the pursuit of lost technology from before the Succession Wars. One of the expedition's dig sites has come under attack. A rogue mercenary group is intent on pillaging a Star League supply depot that IE uncovered on Brooklyn Prime. We're going in to help protect the site Spears will provide more detailed information on what exactly we're facing once we arrive. For now, I've uploaded the coordinates into the nav system. Before we can launch, you need to sign off on the op and get us to the system. Roger that. <laughs> 